On today's adventure, we go check out my buddy Lee's house, and uh, we rove around his woods a little bit, concluding with his parents who live next door's front yard. So let's see what we find. We're right here. That disappears out, 91, 92 tone. But if I'm looking close here, I can kind of see. <laughs> There's a whole door off a car here. That's old, that's 30s. Maybe late 20s, but looks 30s. Right here. Nope. 88, <clears throat> Screaming, so. Ugh. Window pane glass. What do we got here? Ooh. That's a cool little relic. Give that a quick brush. Threaded back so it can't be too terribly old. But that's the that's the uh, upward ways. Cleaned up real nice. Shield pattern with laurels. Looks like there's two uh, rifles on it. I'm not sure if that's some kind of military adornment or what i doubt it because i've never seen anything like it but that's neat cross rifles with a flag and shield with laurel next signal Seventy-five, seventy-six. right here well it's out whatever it is Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got? This is too thin to be a coin. Um, I'm not sure on this disc. It's suspect. It's brass for sure. Definitely brass. There's a solder mark. You know, I found one of these here before. I wasn't sure what it was then either, so maybe you can tell me. But there's a solder mark on the back like someone tried making a button out of this. I don't know. Check our hole. Nothing. All right, this signal, it's gonna, it hammers. <laughs> Man, these little washers are getting me. Take the nail over in there. Maybe another washer. Something here. Uh huh. Do you have a little brass target in there somewhere? I'm not sure what that's going to be. Might be a whole lot of nothing. I'm not seeing anything on there. Oops. So, <clears throat> no, this is an old, of course, but I'm just going to point it out because I think it's interesting. So, as soon as we dip into the uh, little low spot here. We're start. We're start. I mean, that looks ketchup bottle. That looks milk bottle to me. That's a neat plate. Cool design on her. You know, it's too bad that this stuff is broken here. I'm not gonna take the time to reassemble. I mean, there's too many shards for me to want to right off the top of my hand head right now. 
but you know, like there's obviously a lot of bottles and glass and stuff in here. So it might be worth our time to come through here at some point and kind of scope this out because, you know, there's actually some cool stuff in here. But I'll take this one piece. That's neat. We're going to dig out this tiny target. It doesn't get higher than 43. Oh, yeah. I popped it out. That is the tip to a mechanical pencil. Probably silver plated. Eighty seven, eighty eight. I'm thinking another piece of trash. I don't think it's a coin. Sounds nice though. It's got a nice tone to it. Backdoor action. <clears throat> Something like that. Oh, gosh, that was deep down there. First thought is a clock, but it could be a doormat. A little knob on there, I don't know what that's about. See that gear there? That's definitely clock. Old uh, mantle clock, probably. The movement plates, still complete. Cool. Stick that in our pouch. On we go. Over there behind us, about four feet where that clock was. It's a faint 91. I'm still running this iron software because I'm trying to listen to where people would be. And the whole trying to listen to where the movement of people would be based on the iron. So, right here. Gosh, I'm liking the soil. Ooh, cool. An old D-buckle. Iron, uh, I forget what the heck that's called. The prong is iron. But it's a relic. We'll You're take it. the difference between the clock and the buckle. 48, 49. Ah. That's cool. Could have been out of that clock. Little clock gear. Next target's under all this junk. 84, you can hear how she's breaking up some. Sounds close to the surface. Yep. Top off some kind of drink, aluminum. Oh, now that I pulled that one target. There's a deeper, much nicer sounding target here. <clears throat> That's cool. That's a radiator cap. Not sure what off, it would have been exposed because it's nickel plated. So like the top of a tractor, unlikely a car, F cars that would have had a cap like this would have had an adornment on it. But. We'll take there it. There we go. 92. <clears throat> I 
Cool. Got ourselves a hatchet head. Not in terribly bad shape. This one could definitely be uh, cleaned up with electrolysis and used again. So we'll keep her. This one's cray cray. I mean, <clears throat> I would have thought surface can, but maybe subsurface can. <laughs> it's too bad it's so rusty. This would have been a very thick piece on the back. It's a uh, center cap off of Plymouth. Probably mid 30s to late 40s. I think I have a couple of these. So we'll we'll keep this one. Cool, we can just nail it to the wall in the garage. We are by the road, lots of EMI. Kind of the smacking something down here. All right, I just got it out of the hole. It was way down there, pretty deep. I mean, almost flash deep, if that's what you want to call that. And it looks like we've got ourselves a spoon plated. You can see I kind of pried against it there with a the shovel trying to get it out. Thought it was a lot smaller of a target, but. P and B. This is AI, probably something for silver plate. So we'll keep that. We got a tone. Got one there too. So we're gonna start with this one. This one is like double tapping hard. Okay. Got ourselves a dime. Oof. Just missed it, 66. <laughs> Just missed silver on that one. Right here, I think we're gonna go in and dig on this one too and just kind of pop out a little piece. And we've got ourselves, looks like a nickel. Ooh, pop clean, buffalo. Doesn't look like there's gonna be a date on that buffalo though. Sweet. All right, this is the best signal I've had all day for sure. You got a coin at least. It's not a, not a dime. It's a very high ringing wheat penny. <laughs> Let's see what we got for a date. Forty-two. All right, and here's our finds from today. Let's go through them in the wrap up. So here's a <clears throat> the front one of the front yard finds we made. Silver spoon. This thing was, gosh, I don't know, eight ten inches deep. Surprised I didn't find it on one of the other times I was there. Found ourselves a little D buckle. This I don't know what this is. It's not a blank planchette. It's not a knockout from a utility box. I found another one identical to this, bent almost in the same way, and it was soldered in the same way in the back. So I don't know what that is. If you have an idea, please let me know. <laughs> I stuck it in the button pin for now, because who knows. Got ourselves an old radiator cap. Could have been off a base model car. The more expensive models, the deluxe models, usually had a uh, ornament or on the top of it there. So that'll end up in my uh, little relics area, my garage. As will just the chrome plating left off this old Plymouth hubcap. This one, you know, honestly, that might that door that we saw in the beginning, this might have been off that car. Have to look at it. Plymouths in the late or in the early to mid 30s had suicide doors, so if that had suicide doors, you know, that's probably what it'd be. But you can see the back's completely rotted away. Next, I guess we'll look at this clock. Here's that movement plate. I cleaned some of the stuff out of there and you can see it's kind of neat to look at now. I've never found one of these complete. I found a lot of just this brass piece, but uh, never with all the gears and stuff left inside. Except for uh, maybe this one gear, which was found two, three feet away from that. So those are probably together. 
lemon juice the tip of that mechanical pencil. So it cleaned up all right. I did find a mechanical pencil there before that was missing the tip, but it was, I don't know, 40, 50 feet away from this. It's possible it was off that, but not sure. Here's that one piece of uh, the fragment we grabbed, so we'll add that to our collection for the shadow box table at some point, because I thought that was neat. I mean, I, I don't know a lot about this stuff, but I'm thinking that this is probably 20s to 30s, maybe 40s at the latest. I'm not sure. Our hatchet head. And then when I cleaned it out, to my surprise, the wedge was in the sand in there. So it must have been sitting in the ground for quite a while for the wood to completely rot away and then fill in with sand. Um, but there's that. We got on two coins today. One buffalo. I got some water in my hand from touching that axe. No date on the buffalo, but still has some good detail, even though the coin's pretty worn. I do see just a nine peeking in there on the date, but beyond the nine, you know, the last digit's a nine. So maybe it's 1919 or 1929. Got onto a 42 weedy. Clean that up a little bit. A little rough for the coins in the sandy soil, but this one was pretty shallow, maybe an inch to two tops. So it got beat up a little bit on the back side where it was definitely facing upwards. And our find of the day. And I wish I could tell you more about it. But I, uh, I lemon juiced it. Still got a lot of the gold gilt on there. There's a post in the back. Uh, I asked a few people that kind of puts it around World War One-ish. You can There are some clips here and here. So that means it's probably a hat pin. I'm not sure why some people were saying it's from New York. I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm in New York, so it's from New York in that regard, but I'm not sure what would make this a New York hat pin or what that even means, to tell you the truth. I tried looking at New York militia around World War I. I couldn't find anything. I tried looking at New York National Guard. I couldn't find anything, um, but it's a pretty, oops, it's a pretty neat piece. So if you know anything about this, please comment below and tell me because this thing, I'd love to know more. You can see the crossed rifles with the American flag, and then I'm not sure what the other two things are in the shield. I mean, a rising sun out of a volcano or something, but curtains being pulled. <laughs> Which, at this time, wraps up the find. So, true to form, let's close the curtains on this episode, and I hope you have a great day.